We've celebrated the feast of Christ the King. It's hard to think about what Christ the King might mean. We have different models of kingship today. The King of Saudi Arabia, absolute power over life and death. The Queen of England, who's really a figurehead, but holds her country together. And Jesus really doesn't fit into either of those models. He's not the absolute ruler of life and death, nor is he just a figurehead. So to think about the idea of a king, we'll look at the idea of a king in the Old Testament, especially in one part of it, that is the book of Psalms. There was a great celebration when the king was anointed. Uh, people came together, there was a parade with uh, musicians and musical instruments and singers and dancers. Uh, just as we have a parade on Constitution Avenue and the, the president makes his vow, vow to his oath to defend the Constitution. So we're going to read from one of those psalms uh, of the people praising the king and praying for the king on the day of installation just to think about what, what, it, what it meant. O oh God, give your judgment to the king, your justice to the king's son. It starts with a prayer to God and it asks that the king be just, that he be righteous, that he be the one that God wants him to be, that he may govern your people with justice, your oppressed with right judgment, that the mountains may yield their bounty for the people and the hills great abundance. Notice that second part, that the king will be such a person that his rule will be so good that even nature will blossom forth. And they say that again, for may, the, may <clears throat> may he be like the rain coming down on the fields, like showers watering the earth, that abundance may flourish in his days. And then it ends with the call to justice again, for he rescues the poor when they cry out, the oppressed who have no one to help. He shows pity to the needy and the poor and saves the lives of the poor. So here we have it. What is the king? The king is the one who brings peace and justice to his people, who brings abundance to the earth. No king can do that. So we look to Christ the King, who when he comes, will bring it all. And as we think of what it's called for, for justice and for care for nature around us, we need to think of that, each one of us, about our responsibility to do that in our lives. Think about it.